Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Thursday the 6th of April. Before we do get started please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Alright so let us start off and have a look at what's happened overnight. Uh, we'll start off in the UK. Uh, essentially the UK had the strongest rise in service sector activity so far for 2017 as a PMI number came in at 55. As a consequence the pound jumped uh, almost immediately around about 50 odd pips uh, against the GBP USD um, as the data was released. The survey respondents also remained optimistic about the year ahead with almost half of the panel forecasting growth. So at the moment the pound is a little bit susceptible to a bit of data, a bit of uh, um, I guess um, a new newspaper or headline uh, risk with uh, Article 50. We did trigger into a trade, it's jumped back up. I think we're sitting at about minus 20 on pips at the moment, so and the trade is just starting out. So let's see what develops on that one. In the U. Yes, we had uh, the employment change at 263, better than the forecast, but the manufacturing PMI number came in underneath. Uh, crude oil at 1.6, this is something that affects uh, the CAD a little bit more. Uh, but the main speaking point was the FOMC minutes. They were hawkish, which is not really a massive surprise considering that the central bank did raise interest rates last month, but investors sold rather than bought US dollars after the report and that was mainly because in those minutes there was nothing that really reflected urgency to raise interest rates again. So at the moment it seems uh, the market is more data driven than what the Fed is actually saying so all the attention now really changes and focuses uh, towards Friday's non-farm payroll numbers. So we'll see what happens on that one. So that's the US. It's now time for our chart of the day and the chart that I have found for us today is the pound New Zealand dollar on a daily chart. So if you have a look at the chart that I'm showing you right here we can clearly see that we are at a double top situation uh, on a daily chart. Now we've, I believe at the time of this recording, this candle's just about to finish so it looks almost more than likely that this is going to become an inside candle situation. It will have, if it finishes as it is, it will, it will have a very shallow stop so you may want to consider uh, what stop levels you put on that one. The spread on this one's a little bit uh, wider than normal, it's, it's considered an exotic. But um, there you have it. So it's an inside candle, so we would be looking to break the down and basically see if that resistance level holds and trade it um, south. So let's see what happens with this one. This is the chart of the day. It's the pound New Zealand dollar on a daily chart. All right, so what's about to unfold in the session that is about to start? we have, it's a relatively quiet one before the, the storm so to speak, but at 10.30 tonight we have unemployment claims from the US, of course this is in my local time which is Australian Eastern Standard Time, and we also have at 6am tomorrow morning before I do my next daily call, Mr Draghi speaks the ECB president and this uh, may have impact on the Euro. So that's all that's the major headlines for the session that's about to unfold. As always, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. And most importantly, I hope you all have a fantastic trading day. I will see you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.